small rental fee for you to do what you do. And it's so small to the point where you will be making profit right away. But it's going to be up to you um, on how you put your own company out there. So with NTP, NTP has been around for 10 years. NTP stands for National Theatrical Productions. We started with stage plays. So we had 15 different stage productions that we have done. We went into the high schools with our stage productions. We went into treatment centers, Mariners Inn in uh, Detroit, as well as uh, New Light Recovery Homes in Detroit. And we taught people going through treatment. It was like their therapy, but we taught them uh, uh, a play within two month period. Uh, we've been on a 48 city tour that we planned ourselves. And one of the biggest places you can go to when it comes to you as an artist is barbershops and beauty shops. They love seeing us come through all the time. We taught the children, my son, uh, he started when like 10, going into the barbershops and beauty shops. He'll go in for 10 minutes, come out with 50 to $70. So mm -hmm. we, we planned our own tour like that. Um, I'm originally from Chicago, so I'm used to being on the L platforms, talking to people, getting out there with the bucket, you know, uh, uh, just doing our talents and getting a tip for it and so forth. So that's what I'm used to. So when I came here, it was just way slower. So it was like, okay, what can we do to kind of bring everybody together because there's not enough unity here. In Chicago, you got a whole lot of unity. So I wasn't used to that, you know, coming here and so forth. So uh, with the stage productions, like I said, we've, we've put those out there, branded those, and actually got a lot of people involved in those. And with our walls here, these are historical walls, but uh, uh, the most part, if you look at the different names kind of in the middle of the wall, that's that individual's wall. Like Ian Wyans right here, he had his own inspirational night here. So we have different types of crowds that come in here. So we might one day have gospel, and then the next day have a hip hop show where they're smoking out back. <laughs> and you know, so the thing is, is everybody, we want everybody to have a home. We don't want people to feel like they're an outcast because of their lifestyles and things like that. Because in the real world, you're gonna have to be at the same place at the same time at any time, you know, point in time. So that's the real world, you know. So mm. we don't want anybody to ever feel outcasted when they come here. So this is the first phase of our market. We'll be in nine other states. One of them, of course, be my hometown. That's where we're looking to go next. And then Florida. Um, I got a sister that's in Full Sail, uh, working on her filming and so forth in Florida. So we'll be um, uh, in Florida as well. So all these different states are on our list, but it's going to take a team effort. You can't do anything by yourself. And one big thing, a lot of people, what I'm finding out is people haven't played on sports teams and things like that. So they don't know how to work together as a team. So I used to play basketball and I ran track. And if I passed the baton and my team member dropped it, bam, you know, you can get scratched or whatever the case may be. So it's important to learn how to work together as a team. So that's what we do every third Saturday in the month. Or we educate each other because everybody in this room can educate somebody today. Even if it's just a small piece of information you can take from this, uh, you can definitely help each other out on the artistry side and help each other move get uh, move forward. And it's just, you know, when you're out and about at different venues, you don't have time to really talk to other people or, you know, everybody, you know, like you said earlier, Coco, they got their ego and everything, so they sitting over here like, I ain't gonna say nothing to him. He ain't gonna say nothing to me. I said, Shh. I ain't gonna say nothing to him. He ain't gonna say nothing. To him. I definitely ain't talking to her. Ooh, I definitely. Ain't. So it's that type of atmosphere, you know, going on. So when you get in an open setting where everybody is, you know, getting comfortable with each other, you'll be amazed at what you can do together. Amazed. Amazing. So, okay. So to make a long story short, because I know I'm long-winded, I've been told that. <laughs> I'm okay with that, but I'm not gonna bore you guys. So what we're going to do really quickly is kind of go through our goals for 2016, and then I'm going to collect those, and then we're going to get right into our artist talk. So we're not going to waste any more time on that and so forth. But at the end of the night, we want you guys to be comfortable with each other, to be okay. I'll never forget when I'm uh, <laughs> with Detroit and Pontiac, because I work in both school districts. And so I was taking my Pontiac students to Detroit, and Detroit like, you gonna bring Pontiac here? I was like, yeah, oh, they wild and ghetto and this and that. And then Detroit, uh, Pontiac like, man, we going to Detroit, so they were scared. Like, oh gosh, you know, I don't know about this. So, and then when they finally met each other, just fell in love, like, hey, when we going back? So, you know, I got a car full of, you know, 16s 
in my car, going to Detroit and everything. But it, they're like, what, what Pontiac at? I was like, I'm bringing next week. But it was that type of atmosphere where it's like, man, they cool. So once you break the ice and really get to know each other, it's like, man, they cool. I can, I can deal with them. I can deal. But it, you got to let your guard down. Too many people had to guard up because they've been hurt. You know, we was talking about that a lot. You know, how people can scar you and hurt you so much, but you got to give everybody a fair opportunity. If you don't give people a fair opportunity, some people don't want you to meet other people. Because mm -hmm. they're like, man, if y'all ever connect, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. that's going to be a monster right there. So some people will hide people to the point where they're like, uh-uh, you ain't meeting that one. That so when you... <laughs> so, <laughs> let me know if y'all get too hot, because I don't know the heat. Uh, let me know. Uh, so it's real important to give everybody a fair chance. Um, and when you give them a fair chance, just let them prove themselves to you. And if they prove to be with that other <laughs> individual, don't let that other individual, I told you, I told you she was like this or like that. Or just accept what it is, but know that you gave that individual a fair chance. Okay, so that's very important. So because you can... You can miss out on a lot of opportunities not giving people a fair chance. So let's go around real quick. Um, let's say your name first and what it is that you do, and then we'll go right into our goals for the year. 